Why? Why must I forever be surrounded by mechanical morons? If not for your bumbling, the Autobots would have been vanquished long ago! Please, mighty Galvatron, have mercy! We are your most loyal soldiers! And just where has your loyalty gotten me, Cyclonus? Where is my sprawling empire? My legion of servants? Because all I see is a burnt out husk of a planet and two useless tin cans ready for the smelting pools. So Galvatron has gone completely mad, eh? Weird Wolf, begin preparations for departure. The time has come for us to distance ourselves from this madman. At once, my lord. We shall eliminate those still loyal to Galvatron and offer salvation to the rest. Then, when I take control of the entire Decepticon Empire, no force in the universe will stand against me. Geez, Cyclonus, Galvatron really did a number on you guys back there. <laughs> Galvatron is just under increased stress due to the presence of our Nebulon allies. Yeah, well, at least Zarak has a game plan. I'm starting to think we'd be better off if he were our leader. Choose your next words carefully, Swindle, for what you speak of as mutiny. Take it easy, Cyclonus. Listen, Galvatron had his chance to leave, and look where that got us. I don't know about you, but Char isn't exactly my idea of paradise. So why not give this Zarak guy a chance? If not for Zarak's cowardice, we would have already reclaimed Cybertron. If you want to go down with the sinking ship, pal, that's your business, but we're out of here. The Decepticon Empire is in a sad state of affairs. Perhaps we should pay Zarak a visit and question him on this supposed insurrection. Or perhaps we too should consider our allegiance. Ingrate! Without Galvatron, you would not even exist! Yes, it's true, I suppose. But if your loyalty is waning, Scourge, it is time something must be done. Zarak, there's talk of defection amongst our Decepticon brothers, and I suspect that you are the source. By the honor of Galvatron, I demand you tell me your treasonous plot. Do not come within my city banks making demands. Galvatron has no authority here. Do you dare deny that several Decepticons have already conspired to abandon Galvatron's lead in your favor? If Galvatron's troops are looking to me for guidance, who am I to turn them away? Who, indeed? Scurry along now, Cyclonus. I have more important matters than to talk to the likes of you. My fellow Decepticons, we are gathered here today because we share a common bond. We're all sick and tired of Galvatron. His madness and ill-thought-out tactics have run the once-proud Decepticon Empire into the ground! It's time for a new leader! It's time for the era of Zarak! You say Zarak is staging a rebellion? You're sure of this? Short of spelling it out, he admitted to it. And he wasn't very coy about it either. Then the time has come to end our alliance with these disgusting flesh creatures. We will dispose of him immediately, mighty Galvatron. Come, Skirt. Wait! I will destroy Sarak when I deem the time is right. For now, I want to know exactly what he's planning. Perhaps he will be of use to me.
such grand preparations you're making, Zarok? Going somewhere? Merely embarking on a journey to collect energon. For our mutual benefit, of course. Oh, of course! There's talk of an insurrection, but I'm sure you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Heavens no, it must have been a misunderstanding, most likely caused by the low intellect level of the company you tend to keep. Hmm, how very clever. Well, don't let me delay your departure. After all, the welfare of the Decepticon Empire rests squarely on your shoulders. Indeed it does. More than you know. Follow him. What is our destination, my lord? The Earth. We will exploit its multiple energy sources to build our new empire. But surely the Autobots will be alerted to our presence and attack! Indeed they will. That is why I will contact Optimus Prime in advance of our arrival. We have a common goal now, the elimination of Galvatron. Why make the effort ourselves when we can have the Autobots do it for us? A genius plan as usual, Zarek. And while the Autobots are occupied with Galvatron, we will help ourselves to all the resources we need. Sound wave to Galvatron. Zarak is on course for Earth. Just as I expected. Oh, Zarak, you predictable fool! I don't think you're gonna believe this, but we've got an incoming transmission from Zarak. This should be interesting. Patch him through. Greetings, Optimus Prime. Your sensors have no doubt already picked up our arrival, so I am choosing to contact you directly. I offer you a temporary truce which stands to benefit both of us. If you grant us temporary asylum here on Earth, I will arrange for the capture of Galvatron's troops by your forces. And why would you want to do that? Inheriting the leadership of the Decepticons has been less than total. Removing those still loyal to Galvatron would be an unpleasant necessity at some point and there's no time like the present. We will of course be happy to assist you in their capture. And how do I know you'll live up to your end of the bargain? I think you'll find me to be a very different adversary than Galvatron. You see, although I don't share the same aspirations as you and your Autobots, I do realize that coexistence is a less destructive path. Once Galvatron has been captured, my forces and I will depart Earth peacefully and permanently. I give you my word. Hmm. Very well. If it means the capture of Decepticons, I'll take your bait. You may stay on Earth for now, but be warned, Zarek. We'll be watching you. I would expect nothing less, Optimus Prime. It is time that we go underground. Do you really think we can trust him, Optimus? Not for a second, old friend. But if we can convince him that we're on his side, we may be able to eliminate two threats instead of just one. So long as noble Optimus Prime keeps his word, we now have a safe haven away from Galvatron's sensors. This will allow us the time we need to eliminate his remaining forces. The question is, how to bait him? Mad as he is, Galvatron is no fool. But he is power hungry! If we can find enough Energon, he's bound to come after it. It's just a matter of sending him the coordinates. An excellent idea. May I nominate my target masters for the job? No! The Headmasters and I will take care of this. 
You stay here in case the Autobots try something. I trust Optimus Prime about as far as I can throw him. Let's go! Xerox forces are mobilized. I must report to Galvatron. Hey, what's that down there? It's Zoe! We gotta tell Zara! Finding, Finding something, something Galvatron, Galvatron desires, desires will not be difficult. difficult. Transmitting him the information in such a way that does not raise his suspicions, on the other hand, will be challenging. Soundwave and its cronies followed us here! We seen them with our own eyes! Sounds like we've got a rat problem. What would you like us to do about it? Hmm... Perhaps the rat is in fact the solution. Bring him to me. Soundwave to Galvatron! Come in, Galvatron! Sorry, Soundwave, but our transmission is over! Permanently!